Hey guys, I'm Nasani Mandy, and today I'm going to be opening this lovely misguided box that they sent me a few days ago. So I'm excited about this. I would love for you all to get to know me more. I am looking at a skip option. I don't know if you can see that. So if I don't feel comfortable answering the question, this is going to go up, but I'm going to do my best to let you into Nazanin's world. So let's get going. All right, question number one. What's your favorite song right now? Okay, so I don't have a specific favorite song right now. Beyonce killed everything from the visuals to the clothing. I mean, of course the music, but the album is amazing and I can't stop listening to it. It's like my workout album right now. It's my like, if I need to clean the house and get it done, that is blasting. So yes, Black is King. Okay, question number two. <laughs> Describe yourself in three words. All right. Um, I would have to say confident, gracious, and giving. I think those are three, three really good descriptions. And Vanity has come to join our Q&A. This is my cat Vanity, one of them. Um, she loves the camera, obviously, so she'll be helping me with the Q&A. Vanity, here you go. We need question number three, girl. Oh, she's over it. All right, question number three. What do you want to do more of next year? Okay, this is a great question. Uh, since we've been cooped up in the house for months, um, I've taken quarantine really seriously. Plus, I'm a homebody at heart. I'm a Virgo, we love to be in the house. Um, next year, I wanna try and be more social <laughs> and go to all the events I'm invited to. Um, a lot of times, I'll be like, I can't make it, I'm sorry, but I am working a lot of the times or I'm just so tired. So I am going to make it a point, even if I'm tired, to go out more next year and socialize with people because I do miss my friends. I miss getting dressed up and going out in my cute misguided outfit. I, I just really wanna make it a point. So yeah, be more social next year. <laughs> All right, let's see. I haven't skipped any. Well, we're only on question number four, but still. Okay, if you could swap lives with someone, who would it be? Oh, that's hard. You know, I am so grateful for my life and the things, the good and the bad that I've experienced. I can't imagine swapping lives with somebody. I just feel like I'm, I'm meant to be here in this body, present with the people that are around me because I'm so grateful to have them. But I, I wouldn't want to swap lives with anybody. I just can't imagine my life being any different. I wouldn't want it to be any different. So um, I wouldn't swap lives with anybody. I'm, I'm very grateful. So there you go. Okay. If you could relive one memory, what would it be? Oh, if I could relive, there's so many, oh my gosh. Um, you know, probably memories of when I was a child. I had an amazing childhood. I would love to go back on a family vacation and relive it. I would laugh a lot, I'm sure. Uh, but just to be with my younger self again, the more carefree Nas, I would love to go back and experience that for sure. Just for a little bit, but I need to come back to me now and with the knowledge that I have. So just, just a day as like 15 year old Nas, I would love to go back and do that. <laughs> what is the biggest lesson you've learned in life? Oh, there's so many lessons. I am constantly learning lessons. And I think that's the point of life is to constantly be evolving and, and, and learning throughout this journey. Um, but one important lesson and something that I had to learn the hard way um, always had to do with fear and not letting fear get in the way of, of our potential and what we're meant to do in life. And for over a decade, I let fear stop me. I let fear of judgment, fear of failure, 
um, fear of putting myself out there stopped me from trying to reach my dreams and I'm not doing that anymore. I can't live like that anymore. I don't deserve to live that way um, and neither do you. So I think it's really important to just try and move as fearlessly as possible. It doesn't mean you'll never be scared um, because your dreams have to be big enough to be scared of, you know? But um, don't let it stop you. So yeah, bye fear. <laughs> Who is your best friend? Oh, I mean, that's easy. My husband's my best friend. Um, we have really established a beautiful friendship and it takes work. It's like every other real relationship takes work. Nurturing a friendship takes work. Nurturing love takes work. It doesn't matter who it's with. If it's, if it's real, it takes work. Um, and I always say this, you know, you obviously, you know, you love your partner, but it's so important to actually like your partner and to recognize them as a best friend. So Miguel's definitely my best friend. What is the last text you received? Uh, the last text I received was from my best friend Darla reconfirming her birthday on Friday. Yes, Darla, your birthday is still on. We're still gonna have a girls night and it's gonna be the best birthday, okay? Biggest turn off, turn ons and pet peeves. All right. So one of my biggest turn offs is a man who is extremely cocky. I do not like that, especially when they're so extremely cocky, they are unkind to other people. Um, there is a fine line between being confident and being cocky. And if you cross that line, we just can't, it's not gonna work. So be kind, be modest in certain ways, but be confident and don't cross that line. My biggest turn on, I love to feel safe around somebody. I'm about consistency and safety. If you are a consistent man, if I can rely on you, um, if you are intelligent, that is a big one for me, you gotta be smart. Uh, and if you can make me laugh, even if it's with sarcasm and wit, uh, it doesn't need to be a traditional joke. I am all for that, that's a big turn on for me and a pet peeve, okay. <sighs> now, not everybody is punctual, I get that. But if you are consistently late, that is a pet peeve for me. Um, it is a sign of disrespect. A disrespect for my time, disrespect for your time, it's just disrespectful. Um, but things happen, shit happens, accidents happen. I mean, you can't be prompt all the time, but if it's a pattern, it's definitely a pet peeve. What, what is one item you cannot live without? Uh, probably my cell phone. I mean, I, that's a pretty common item. Um, it has everything that I need on it. If I need to take a picture, if I need to contact somebody, um, yeah, if I need directions, my phone is right there. So my phone, what is something that's on your bucket list? Um, something that's on my bucket list. I'm going to go down the travel route. I need to go to Egypt. I need to see the pyramids. I need to experience the culture. That's definitely on my bucket list. I haven't been there yet on my bucket list. I definitely need to live somewhere else besides LA for a little bit. I'm born and raised in LA, but I would love to experience another country, even if it's just for like two months. Um, I would love my husband, my cats and I to go and just experience again, a different culture, culture, a different way of life. So yeah. Sorry, I kind of mixed these in. So now I have to find the ones I haven't answered. If you had to change careers, what would you do? Well, first of all, I can't imagine me not being in the entertainment industry. I can't imagine not acting. Um, I, it's just like, I can't think beyond it. But if I had to, I would be a paranormal investigator. I'm very intrigued with the afterlife. Um, it's something that doesn't scare me at all. So I would definitely do that. 
um, or I would be like a journalist, something like that. So yeah, but again, acting is for me. I don't see that happening anytime soon. What was your last Google search? What was my last Google search? Uh, uh, it was probably like a restaurant number because I love to order out. <laughs> it was probably something like that that wasn't on Postmates and I had to find it. So yeah, food. <laughs> What's your least favorite Miguel song? That's hilarious. My least favorite Miguel song. I don't know if this is, it's not my least favorite because I actually really love this song, but a lot of people think Girl With The Tattoo is about me and it's not about me. Uh, when he wrote that we were not together, so I am not the girl with the tattoo, even though I, I have plenty. Um, yeah, so I don't have a least favorite song, but a song that's not um, relatable to me, I guess, uh, would be that one. What would be your last meal of choice? Oh my God, that's so hard. This is one of the hardest questions. Um, I love food. I am Mexican and Persian. I grew up eating really amazing food my whole life. My mom is an amazing cook. Um, that's hard. Probably Mexican food and it could really be anything um, or pizza. I don't know, see, it's so hard, but probably Mexican food, knowing myself, so, yeah. Ah, when you were younger, what did you wanna be? I always wanted to be in the entertainment industry. Uh, there was nothing else I wanted to be. I wanted to sing, I wanted to act. Um, it's just, that was something that's always been naturally in me. I grew up performing, uh, I you know, grew up singing, I mean, I don't even know like there was just no other thought in my mind it was I'm gonna be a performer if that's singing if that's acting if it's both like I'm gonna do it tell us an embarrassing funny story <sighs> off the bat I'm like trying to think something embarrassing I mean and I've said this story before, like a lot of people know this story. Embarrassing is like Miguel and I's first date, I threw up. I was not an experienced drinker at all. I got into a club with a fake ID and I overdid it. I drank too much champagne and I threw up in my leather jacket in the back of his friend's car. So I thought he was never gonna talk to me again. I thought it was done. Like I just blew it and he helped get me together and the rest is history. We're still here. So yeah, that's pretty embarrassing. What is your favorite item in your wardrobe right now? Oh, uh, my favorite item right now are probably misguided sweats because technically I'm still in quarantine and I'm in the house most of the time. So I'm not gonna wear jeans. I got nothing to prove. Um, so I'm gonna wear sweats or workout pants, but really sweats. So this guy is sweats. They're so comfortable guys. Get you some, get you some. Oh my God, actually I answered them all you guys. No skips. That was amazing. Okay, I did it. Well, you guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you learned a little more about me. I would love to do this again. Don't forget to check out my story and post for misguided outfits weekly. I love them. You love them. They're the best. Thanks guys. Mwah.